In this problem, we have to count the number of nodes in a complete binary tree. So first understand what is a complete binary tree. A binary tree, as the name says, it will have at max two child. But a complete binary tree means that all the nodes have two child, except the nodes at second last level. They can have one child. So this is a complete binary tree. But this is also a complete binary tree since all the nodes have two children only at last level the nodes may not be complete. So here we can have maximum one node. Next node, next level we can have two nodes. And next we can have four nodes, then eight and so on. So it's two raised to the power level number if we start from level zero. This is the number of nodes at that level in a complete binary tree. But uh, this will not, this may not be valid at the last level. So this was a complete binary tree. This is also a complete binary tree. This is also, but this is not a complete binary tree. So last level can have incomplete nodes, but they should be as left as possible. So this is not a complete binary tree, but if we just uh, move it to here, then it's a complete binary tree. This is also a complete binary tree. So all levels are filled except the last level where the nodes should be as left as possible. So this is another example of complete binary tree. So uh, what is the tough job in counting the number of nodes? Any simple traversal would work. But here we have to uh, optimize our solution so that we take advantage of the completeness of tree. So even if it's not complete binary tree, you do a traversal, then you will get the number of nodes. So here it's complete. So how can we exploit this condition? So uh, we have to use this logic that at level L, there will be two raised to the power L number of nodes. So if a complete binary tree has just one level, it will have one nodes. Let's first talk about the balanced case where everything is filled. Then if it has two levels, then it will have three nodes. If it has three levels, here, here I am starting from one, level one, two, three. Then it will have seven nodes. So it's equivalent to writing a binary representation like this. So one bit, it's one, two bits, it's three. 3 bits, it's 7, 4 bits, it's 15 and you can see that if I fill this level as well, we will add 8 additional nodes. So 8 plus 7 is 15. So what we will do, we will start a left pointer and a right pointer. So left pointer will always go left until it reaches a leaf node. So here it will count whenever left is not null, it will count. So here it's one, two, one, two, three, four. Now left is null. So it says that left height is four. Similarly, this pointer will go only right. So how, what is the way to do that? So initially left and right both are root. Then while L, L equal to L left keep going left and also keep incrementing count left count so it will return 4 similarly for right you keep going right instead of left and here it will stop so it will return 4 so it will say hey my uh, left height is 4 right height is also 4 and if it's given that it's complete binary tree that means uh, all the nodes at left at the last node will be last level will be as left as possible so if you take this example, here left would return four nodes, one, two, three, four, but right would return one, two, three only. In that case, we cannot apply this formula. So if we get this formula, we return two raised to the power four minus one, that is 15, and that will be correct. But in this case, we will not return that. So this optimization, we will try to find smaller subtree. 
so some smaller subtree of this will be complete binary tree so if we don't find that scenario what we will do we will add one to the count and we will go one layer deep so instead of calling this function on this node we will call it on this part and this part separately so this here we will find that this is a complete binary tree so here we will straight away return uh, 7 and what will this part return this will again check left height is 2 right height is 1 so again it will say that I am not a complete binary tree with all levels filled my last level is not filled so from the right call to this right one again it will add one and recursively call let me write it in this color it will add one for this node and go one layer deep to left and right and it will call the same function recursively on this and this now again in the left part it's unbalanced so it will let's make blocks for left and right so it's unbalanced so it will call one plus go one layer deep that is here here it will be balanced just one node so it will return one and right will return zero plus zero here it will simply return one since there is one level and both are same so it will return one now add all of these so this is two so this will ultimately be two now this is two plus one plus one so it's four so for the orig original tree one we had added for root seven was returned from left which was balanced straight away so it returned seven then for left we had to recursively call it and ultimately we added all these and got four so now what is the final answer one plus seven plus four that is twelve now let's count it here one node let me highlight it one two three four five six seven eight 9 10 11 12 so the answer is correct so what would be the way to write the code uh, let's write it in c++ java and python and we will see what is the way to write it exact same logic we will replicate there so this is this problem and uh, this is a sample tree of a complete binary tree last level is not filled it can be filled or it may not be filled so base case is that if root is empty count is 0 there is no node in, in this tree and otherwise we take left and right and calculate their heights so tree node left equal to root right equal to root and height left is equal to 0 height right is equal to 0 now for left keep going left so while left h l plus plus and left equal to left left so ultimately it will exit when we reach a leaf node similarly for right So it will calculate the value of deepest node, deepest rightmost node and if both are same that is this height, height of this leftmost node and height of rightmost node is same that means this uh, tree is not just complete binary tree but all the levels are also filled. So we will return using this formula 2 raised to the power height minus 1 so if hl is equal to hr return so if you left shift 1 by 1 it becomes 2 that is 2 raised to the power 0 this is 2 raised to the power 2 uh, sorry if you left shift 1 by 1 you get 2 that is 2 raised to the power 1 this is 2 raised to the power 2 so here you have to return 2 raised to the power hl or hr both are same minus 1 
if this is not the case then you add one for root and you go one layer deep that is recursively con call on its left subtree and right subtree so ultimately you will find some some subtrees will be complete ultimately in the left part one plus the same function count nodes uh, left root dot left because this node will be null this left root left plus count nodes root right and let's see uh, what is the error here count okay we, we should call return and not just and this gives 6 which is as expected so let's submit this and the solution is accepted now we will write the same thing in java and python if root is null return 0 there is no node so count is 0 So this calculates the left height, keep going left, height of the leftmost node and this calculates the height of rightmost node. If both are same then return the formula using this formula 2 to the power h minus 1. If it's not the case go one layer deep and recursively call it on left and right and add 1 for this root. and this is also correct so let's submit and the solution is accepted in java and the runtime is 0 millisecond which is uh, the best among submissions and now we will write this same logic in python 3 if root is none then count is 0 since there is no node in this tree hl and rl are the height of the leftmost node and the rightmost node in the tree so if they are same that means the tree is not only complete but all the nodes are, all the levels are completely filled. So in that case we can simply return 2 raised to the power h minus 1. and this solution is correct so let's submit and the python solution is also accepted